Steve, it's Living Wage Week and we're at the Quaker Meeting House in London. Quakers were famous, weren't they, they were, for, yes. for starting um, businesses that really valued their workers. They were, yeah, so they, round trees and cabbies, they used to support people and they made a town where people can live there, so yes, they, they treated them good as well so uh, and paid their workers a living wage yes. uh, enough money to to live on and, yes. and to be independent and that's an example that we want to follow uh, in bmix so we're a company um, with a workforce that includes people with uh, a learning difficulty other people without a learning difficulty um, you're one of our employees with a learning difficulty. Yes. Um, just tell us a little bit about your work and how you're paid. Yes, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, no, I'm a coach of the uh, BMIX board. Mm -hmm. I work for the national, the CTR, the care review meetings. Yeah. I'm a, and I'm a supporter for the uh, different projects we do. And, and how would it feel if you weren't paid the living wage, which is enough money to live on independently and you just paid the government's absolute minimum wage for for that kind of very skilled and experienced work that you do I think I worry because I've got bills to pay for so if I live on that I've been worrying each month but have I got enough money to pay the electric mm. gas bills and I've got holidays as well I like to go on holiday so again absolutely that, that pays for the holidays and when I go out as well to meet my friends and that's quite good to at least I've got some money to go out and yeah. be part of the community. Yeah, so we're proud to be a living wage employer uh, and in this living wage week we'd love to say to every employer across the country um, don't just be a government minimum wage employ employer but become a living wage employer. Visit yep. livingwage.org.uk and sign up today.